So we're going to talk about something that I'm sure everybody is fed up with. Shitty DVD and Blu-ray packaging. We're so tired of it. You pay $23, $23.49 for this crap, and it doesn't even fit on your goddamn shelf. The modern Blu-ray case is pretty nice, I think. It could not um, be blue, though. It, that'd be nice. Okay, so we have The Rock, and it, The Rock is on Blu-ray, and you and I both like The Rock, so it should be pretty exciting to purchase The Rock on Blu-ray, but it doesn't- I was it's, excited. It's not just the the classic like poster you normally see what they use for the DVD. They have this, looks like chrome, and not only is it chrome, it's got the, um, it's got like the, the bottom of a CD case, kind of rainbowish, oily. Well, yeah, they put that on there to make it really look like this is from the future, mm -hmm. you know? Like this, it, you can see it has sort of that metal sheen. It's supposed to be like it's a metal kit. This is like, this is like something like from stain, Mass Effect. It, yeah, it's, it, well, it looks like stainless steel because you can see it's got a texture to it. Yeah. See? Um, and that, that I think that travels onto the back too, where they even have the little, uh, bing, little, little light. And I assume that's supposed to be the disc. That right? is the Blu-ray technology. The, it looks kind of like a planet or something. But let's look at some of these fucking box sets like recently bought the Batman, very nice, very nice box set, mm -hmm. great Blu-rays, but you open it up, it's got this little, it's got this piece you're going to lose, it's going to fall on I the lost floor, it. and you're going to step on it. Um, and of course it's got the skinny cases, which are all right, and it, I, I, I do want to compliment the, uh, I, I like the cover design of these cases. Mm -hmm. You like that? Yeah, the cover design's nice. I mean, it's uh, they simple. Have, they they kind of have a uniform font going on here to make it feel like it's... It feels remember like, like those alien, when they re-released the Alien trilogy? They kind of made same it kind of thing. Alien. alien looks good, too. But now, look what we're left with. We take the, we take these out. We watch them. And now we're left with this. These three cardboard pieces. Mm -hmm. What is this? What is this? Why can't you give me something a little more sturdy? Or at least to sets. store my my DVDs and like you're not gonna put this in storage. If you, if I move, you're gonna have to wrap this in fucking bubble wrap. You know, not like DVD case or VHS cases. You just throw those around everywhere. And also, it closes Without, like yeah. like a retard if you don't have the DVDs in there. Um, yeah, I, I mean the, the the better alternative when you got to do something like this is just do the like a book thing where it folds out into multiple things. That, that works out much better. Than, I like the book. Then. This. I like the book. Here's a piece of shit. Great show. Curb your enthusiasm. I can't wait to watch it. Oh. That's how it comes? It says pull and you pull it in the bottom. Whoop. Okay. Like that, like so. Uh-huh. It's kind of, you pull, you know. Well, it broke. Oh, okay. Why are Curb your enthusiasm fans looking for something that does this? Something that's high-tech technological movie would ask for something with this, but not a HBO comedy. This doesn't ask for it at all. No. You're, you're giving nothing. You're giving nothing extra to your cur curb your enthusiasm fans by doing this. And plus, it breaks like you just demonstrated. Yeah. Is it? Okay. It's broken. I mean, I can still watch it, but you know, they are broken. This is the current number one terrible uh, DVD cover. This is Drive. It's Drive. Um, nothing wrong with the case, of course. Although it did have, you ever? I broke it off. You ever get those Blu-rays that have the yeah, big yeah. snap? Yeah, yeah. One big plastic mm -hmm. thing you have to snap open. I just, you know, you remove those. Mm -hmm. You don't have time for that. This cover has got Ryan Gosling with the signature uh, scorpion jacket, but they forgot that the scorpion's on the back. So, you know, what do you do? You just bing, bing, and you put a little scorpion right there on the front. There it is. Remember in Drive when he has like that muscle car with the badass air intake on the hood? Remember that part? You're getting all <laughs> kinds of wrong ideas from the mm -hmm. cover of this. He never has a car like that. He never has a car like that? Does he carry a hammer? He does. There's mm -hmm. a, well, there is a hammer scene. Does he walk with the hammer as if he's doing some sort of fashion This would be the equivalent of, uh, of a cover, the cover of, of The Shining. And you have, you have Jack Torrance and you could have him, you could have him kind of like like standing at that part where he's like looking out the window, mm -hmm. like staring, yeah, yeah, yeah. because he looks crazy. And you'd put like a tennis ball in one hand and like an ax in the other. Mm -hmm. And then in, in, in the background, you'd have like a, 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 a snow snowmobile thing. Yeah. And uh, the, you know, uh, Scatman Crothers like sneaking around. Like that kind of be the, that would be, that <laughs> that would be the equivalent, equivalent 
or of this. or uh, or uh, Dave from Dave from another crew in 2001 with the pieces of Hal's brain in his hand as he's walking. Even though he's walking towards destroying Hal, he's still got the pieces. Yeah, in his remember hand. that part? Yeah. This is a Jurassic Park Blu-ray set. Uh, the cover is fine, you know, but they, again, they make it look kind of like like blue space metal. Mm -hmm. so, there is a person who designed these things. They said, hey, 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 Jimmy, we need you to make a little thing, a little picture for the inside of the DVD. Go. All right, hey, all right, I'm on it. Put all of our, fa put all of our favorite parts from the movies mm -hmm. into, the, on, on, into one DVD case-sized panel. Can you do it, Jimmy? I can do it. Well, here's what we get. The Jurassic Park one isn't too bad. I guess not. Um, but let's take a... <laughs> I mean, Vince Vaughn was everybody's favorite character from The Lost World. Mm -hmm. He was kind of like the star, really. So, let's make him the biggest thing. You know what's funny is that The Lost World is really not a very memorable movie, generally. Like, it's not. Well, I think the most memorable part would be the T-Rex at the end in, um, in, San, Jose, in uh, San Jose. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. San yeah. Diego. In yeah. San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, and then remember the baby T-Rex too. But that's not here. That's not in here either. In fact, this kind of summarizes how I felt about. In fact, you know what? This actually kind of something. You have people looking at things. Mm -hmm. They're looking. See, not very memorable. Not, see, not a whole lot happens. Oh, not, it feels like not a lot, whole lot happens in the Lost World because it's really a forgettable movie. This one's not so bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is that? Well, there was a plane. There was a plane. It's a white plane, though. It looks like it's going dun 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 dun. Well, dun dun dun. Like this was room. actually kind of a memorable scene. I mean, is where he talks to the raptors. Uh -huh. So you know, it's good they put okay. that front and center. Um, Jimmy was a big fan of Jurassic Park three, I think. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, pterodactyls were the were were a big part. I mean, which which Jurassic Park was it where a guy on a motorcycle rides under a brontosaurus? That was Jurassic Park two. Oh well, then that that should have been in here at least. Yeah. <laughs> um, Let's take a look at Downton Abbey, uh, season one. <laughs> Talk about you know Photoshop jobs. I like when they I like the uh, the kind of blurry shadow they put under people and behind things yeah. to make it give it <clears throat> give it a little depth. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it looks like most of these people were shot in soft lighting, and then they added a little bit of shadow. Well, afterwards. are these just like the because uh, you know they take those uh, test shots for costumes? Mm -hmm. Is that all this is? Yeah, that feels like that's what this is. Because I mean, usually they're in they're they're in full costume. They look good, and they're like, well, let's just take those pictures, and it'll be the cover of the DVD. We yeah, got a picture. Or, or we'll the... Put a house. Mm -hmm. Put a people in front of the house. It's Downton Abbey. Now I like the way everybody's lined up. You know, brrr, mm -hmm. like little dominoes. Now take a look like at season pins. at season two. There's so many more unforgettable characters. Mm -hmm. We have to get them all. Like, what is season three gonna be? Yeah, it's gonna be any. Um, so let's talk about a few more. We got 88 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, what am I doing on the cover? Um, <laughs> well, they have a, a minute hand. Mm -hmm. It's at, I, I think it's at the 88 minute mark on the clock. So that's how we know. We're more like a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 2007? Mm -hmm. That confirms my, yeah, it's, it's the Born Identity ripoff. Oh yeah, I mean, look at him. And it, this isn't the only one. There's a number of other movies mm -hmm. that rip off. Not only in the movie itself rips off the Born Identity, but the cover uh, rips off the Born series. Because I guess that's the most popular fucking action series of our generation. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about a few ones that we like. And mm -hmm. uh, big surprise, they're all Criterion. Because they actually uh, give a damn about their... <laughs> Except for one. We, <laughs> we want to talk about the Predator uh, DVD cover. But this cover is pretty great. It gives you a real good sense of the uh, time the movie was made. Um, I like the novel. I like that the feeling of it being, a, you know, an '80s action movie. And they don't put the Predator on the cover, which I don't think any version does, which is a good idea. Yeah, that is a good idea. And we can just look at these three real quick. All oh, great examples: High and Low, Videodrome, Days of Heaven. Uh, although I do think this Days of Heaven is a little cheesy because of that head with right this there. guy in the front who doesn't like really ghost. look to scale, and it's not no. Richard Gear. No. So. Can, I mean, look at that. See? Yeah. This, this, oh, this yeah. just goes along with the Criterion Collection. See? See oh, that? look at the inside. You got the train on the disc. Mm -hmm. It's classy. It just feels right. It just 
it just it's just nice. It's just comfortable. Because it's for fans of the movie. It's mm. not trying to. It's, it is selling it to you. It yeah. does, they do, but they leave that shit for the back of the box. Um, let's talk about the video drone mm. uh, case. Love this case. Which uh, was a little bit better when it was on DVD because it was a double disc case. And uh -huh. This thing was a, more the size of a oh, VHS. I got, you. I got you. Yeah, I can see how it's a little. Um, now it's a little bit different. It looks more. But you, you, looks you know. more like a beta tape. But it's really fun that you get to hold this. You know, they let you kind of hold this thing in your hand. It's mm -hmm. just like in the movie, and uh, you open it up, and it's. I think it's just a, a black background. Yeah. I'd be interested to know whose job it is and the process that they go through when, when designing these covers for Criterion mm -hmm. because I think they do put a lot of thought into it. Well, they even they did something too of this too. They put what looks like interlaced lines over it, which kind of oh, makes this feel like it's on video too. Yeah, of course, um, one of my favorite movies of all time here, High and Low. Um, this scene says so much about the characters. Mm -hmm. um, this shot, just with the, 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 his wife's face, and you even, you know, you, you can see just in, in his eye, the corner of his eye there, mm -hmm. how stressed out he is, um, and how tense it is. And but you can even see their their jewelry, yeah. which tells immediately tells you their status, you know, and her and her her polished nails and all that. Yeah, and her, um, the, her face being cut off gives a sense of urgency to it, like this was just just taken. Which it was. Know. That's how the shot is mm -hmm. in the movie. Um, what would we like to be done? What would we like to see? More simplicity. I guess, just simpler. Simpler, I mean, um, I don't know, I think. I, I think my idea and our, our, the one, you know, our idea of having a outside sleeve, you put as much crap, Photoshop crap and stars and reviews that you want and ads for other movies and special deals, whatever, because that's for the shelf. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when you get home, you, you just make it one little thing. It doesn't have to be whole. You don't have to kill a tree for each box. But you have one little thing, and you rip it off, and then you got your artistic cover. Yeah. Well, here, couldn't the problem be also the movie itself? Because a lot of those really good movies that have the cool cover art. They actually have an iconic symbol or an iconic thing that you can just put on top of it, and people just know. Remember, like, what the cover of uh, the original cover I think for Malcolm X was just a fucking X, and that was it. Because you knew what that movie was. That was Malcolm X. Hard Give us, uh, uh, I mean, because we are a material society. We want a material object mm. to put on our shelf that yeah. looks nice. At least looks nice. We complain a lot about the construction as well. Um, but if it's in just a basic DVD or Blu-ray case, you just have a nice looking cover. It's fine. We gotta just blame ourselves because it's the focus groups, I guess. They probably are, they probably, they wanna make the most amount of money possible. So they do everything to make sure that this is gonna make the most amount of money. So they focus group it to death to see which got the highest rating, who who flipped the, you know, like in The Simpsons with this the little dial. <laughs> <laughs> well, One don't kid jump loves to the muscle, man. <laughs> don't jump to conclusions. But, uh. Well, in almost every case, I try to blame the American public. Yeah. So, yeah. The answer is uh, disposable sleeves or uh, reversible covers.